James Young Simpson is one of the most well-known medical names in Edinburgh's history. Perhaps his most significant achievement was his contribution to obstetrics through his discovery of chloroform as an anaesthetic to be administered to women during labour. Simpson was born in Bathgate, a town about 20 miles from Edinburgh, to village bakers. He showed early promise as an academic and his family committed themselves to financially supporting his college education. Simpson began studying at the University of Edinburgh as an art student in 1825, aged 14. Two years later, he began his medical studies. By 1839, Simpson had established a successful private practice in general medicine and obstetrics. As he made a name for himself, his patient base expanded to include not only the residents of Edinburgh's cramped old town, but more increasingly, the residents of the wealthy new town. Around this time, Simpson also began lecturing on obstetrics at the University of Edinburgh, and in 1840, he was elected Professor of Midwifery. Anesthesia was a new development in the medical profession, consisting of inhalations of ether. As Simpson had always been concerned with the issue of surgical pain, he began experimenting with potential solutions. In 1847, Simpson and his assistants, George Keith and James Matthews Duncan, began the search for new forms of anaesthetic. After experimenting with numerous ineffective substances, the three men finally got their hands on chloroform. They tested inhaling the sample and quickly fell to the ground, and upon further attempts agreed chloroform was the solution that they had been searching for. Today a plaque on this house on Queen Street commemorates the site where Simpson and his assistants made their discovery. In November 1847, Simpson made his announcement of a new anaesthetic agent and began using chloroform in obstetrics the following year. Chloroform had its dangers, overdoses and adverse reactions led to increased regulation and the discovery of safer anaesthetic agents of chloroform. However, it was safer than contemporary alternatives such as ether and so chloroform quickly became the anaesthetic of choice among doctors and patients. Nevertheless, there was still some opposition to its use in obstetrics because many viewed pain during childbirth as natural. Unless the delivery was particularly difficult or required surgery, commentators believed there was no need to administer anaesthetic. Simpson ignored these objections and insisted on using chloroform during regular childbirth. Simpson's discovery of chloroform as anaesthesia was a success. He received many accolades and his position both in Scotland and internationally was heightened by various prestigious appointments. On 7th of April, 1853, Queen Victoria gave birth to her eighth child with the successful administration of chloroform. This quickly silenced all opposition to Simpson and his stance on pain-free childbirth. Although he never again received the same acclaim as with his discovery of chloroform as an anaesthetic, Simpson dedicated his time to his private practice, in addition to important medical causes including the improvement of hospital conditions and hygiene to prevent infection, and in his later years promoting the right of women to enter into the medical field. In 1850, Simpson became president of the Royal College of Physicians of Edinburgh. He is remembered as one of Scotland's most famous and important medical figures.